Does anybody have any any real questions? Huh? Oh, was I born gay? Were we born gay? Does anybody have any real questions? Yeah. No. What are you guys out here protesting today? Oh my God. Well, the Bible says this. It says to go out into all the world in Mark 16, verse 15. It says go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Listen, one at a time. I'll answer your question. It says, it says this. I will. I'll do one at a time. It says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. So what does damn mean? It means eternal fire. That's what you guys are facing if you're living in sin. So. I was born gay. Say again. Was I born gay or did I choose this? You choose to be gay. The okay. Bible says, man, God has made man upright, but he has sought out many schemes. Why can't so. I stop that? Well, because you're, the Bible says, let me answer her. The Bible says, the Bible says this, he that committed sin is a slave of sin, and a slave will not abide in God's house forever. But a son abides forever, therefore, if the, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. So he's saying you're a slave, you're in chains, you're bound by a spirit of uh, sexual immor immorality. So Jesus set me free from a, a spirit of sexual morality. I remember the day when I got my demon. Oh no. Yeah, I remember when I was 18. Oh, I was. Oh my God, you were gay? You were gay? No, I wasn't gay, but I was sexually immoral and I got demons. No. I, I, I felt. Gay? Listen, it's not a joke. I know, no, I'm it's not. It's not a joke. I, I had to get those demons out of me. Yeah. And you got to do that if okay. you want to go to heaven. Well, by calling on the name of Jesus, by surrendering my life, yeah. by getting into the Holy Bible, yeah. God will set you free from those spirits and give you a natural affection for a man so you can have a family. And do things God's way. What if I don't want it? Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Well, you want me to read it for you? Yeah. Yes. It's 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 a mystery. All right, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I know what you've been told, but you have to believe the Bible. I literally was told it twice. Romans chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Hold on, guys. We're talking about where it says homosexuals will go to hell. I'm just saying. Listen. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It says this. This is what the Bible says. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affections. That means evil affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one towards another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir which was due. So that was Romans chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Hold on, hold on. I'll answer one question at a time. So, I'm on your side. so we look I'm on, at. I'm on your side, but it doesn't. There are animals that are attracted. So, do you have a question? Do you have a question? Yeah, my question. Like, yeah, how do you think that works? Like, no, no, it's, I'm on your it was side. man. It was man and boy. Also, why are you out here screaming at me? Well, the Bible says preach. That means to publicly herald. But you're out here screaming and calling. All right. All right. Do you think that's spreading love out here screaming at people? Well, the Bible says it's hate to, to not warn your neighbor against sin. So it is love. Like when, when you're burning in hell, you're going to wish like, oh, I wish he would have been more hard on me. Yeah. I wish he would have came up and slapped the snot out of me. Oh, no, y'all. Because you, you'll, be, you'll be burning forever. But I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to preach to you like the Bible says. So. Does somebody have a question over here? Born again Christians. Okay. John, let me let me answer his question. It says in John three three, Jesus said, "Unless a man is born again, he shall by no means enter the kingdom of heaven." So, being born again is how you can serve God. Without being born again, you're just in your lust. You're bound by the spirits of this world. How are you born again? By repenting of your sins and crying out to God to forgive me and change me by getting in the Word and believing it. Start in the book of Matthew. No, no, no. I talked to him. You have to be born again. Hold on. To get into heaven, like you have to choose to be born again. Is that, is that your Yes. Question? Well, being born again is a work of God. He he does that when we cry out in repentance. Okay, what about like a young child that dies young and doesn't know religion at all? 
Yeah. The Bible teaches that they go to heaven. Oh, okay. it does? That's an exception. Yes, it does. Yeah. Read it. When, when David's son died, <laughs> he said, I will not, he will not return to me, but I will return to him. Talking about going to heaven. That's a specific situation, though. It doesn't say that that's a general thing. Yeah, so the Bible teaches that children have no knowledge, that children have, they don't have the knowledge of good and evil. So, so yeah, God wouldn't be unrighteous to throw children into hell. That'd be wicked. Well, there's, well, it's different for every person. God's going to judge each person in righteousness. So he knows, you know, somebody's mental capacity, somebody's cognitive ability. And he's going to judge them according to what he thinks is right. We think that it's around 12 or 13, somewhere around there. But we can't be for sure. So, go ahead. Version of the, Bible is the King James Version Bible, King word for James word, James word for word. Well, well, listen. King James, listen. King James did not write the Bible. King James authorized it to be translated into English. So I don't know anything about King James. I know about the Bible. So. Hold on, hold on, one at a time. Hold on, he's got a question. Yes, <laughs> baptized in water. When did you get baptized? Well, I got baptized when I was nine, but I went my own way. I didn't follow Christ. After I got saved, I got born. The <laughs> Bible teaches that once you get, once you believe, then you get baptized, and God gives you the Holy Spirit. That's when you know you're saved is when you receive the Holy Spirit. Listen to this. Hold on, hold on. You're being rude to him. The Bible says this. It says... That when you go under the water, it represents you dying to sin and dying to this life. And when you raise up, it represents you raising in the power of the Spirit, in the, in the resurrection power, to live in the newness of life. So to live a new life in Christ when you come out of the water. You resurrect with Christ, just like how He died and resurrected. We receive the Holy Spirit. So if you haven't received the Holy Spirit, then, then you just did a dead ritual that can't save you. So you have to repent of your sins, and then you'll receive the Holy Spirit. Damn. Well, the Bible says uses the word whore. So uh, I don't I don't remember calling you a whore, but I was preaching about whores that they should dress modestly. What makes her a whore? She's dressed modestly. What the hell do you want? I walked by and I was confused. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't see the sign. I was focused on. If you're not a whore, then don't be one. But I was. I, I was preaching to everybody. Are you whoring yourself out? That's not your okay. business. Why would you? Then, then, then it wasn't to you. Then it wasn't to you, young lady. Good. Body count like five or six. Well, do you want me to? Do you want me to look it up? Okay. A whore is somebody who has sex for no, for no money or for money. Outside of marriage. Outside of marriage. So, the old fornication, the Bible says... Yes, the Bible says that a godly woman will dress modestly. But again, what is modest? The Bible says a godly woman... Well, if you have, like, tight, revealing clothes on, you're... Yes, like those leggings. Yes. So, don't dress like a whore. Yes. Dress like a woman of God. Hey, you're the one that said it. I just said don't dress like one. Damn! The Bible says if a man looks upon a woman with lust, he should get his eyes. That's right. And you're and you're causing people to lust after you by dressing immodest clothing. Yes. You're not causing me to lust. I have power over my spirit. The Bible says if any man doesn't have power over his spirit, he's like a, a, a city with broken down walls. We have to have control over our spirit. We have to have control. So yeah, I don't I don't lust after women. But other men are not they don't they're not saved, they don't have power. So they do lust after you. Well, now, if you're dressing modestly, it's not your fault. But if you're partaking by dressing immodest, then, then you have a part to play in that. No, that's that might be uh, 
what's legal, but in God's kingdom, there's a standard called holiness. So you might not go to jail in this wicked society, but in with God, He has His own law. That's what we're here to say. God is a law. And He's going to judge you people by His holy law. Wait, wait, wait. So you're wearing your green pants. You're not supposed to wear jewelry. The Bible never says that. Yes, it does. Paul said it in Philippians. That's not true. The Bible says, "Put when, when the when the man came back, what what's the what's the guy called the uh, prodigal son? When the prodigal son came back, the man put a ring on his finger. That was Jesus' parable. If rings were against God's law, he wouldn't have said he put a ring on his finger. Why does the Bible say you can't wear jewelry? It doesn't say that. It says." It says, don't be focused on outwardly adornment and focused on, on gold. And listen, rather than, it says, rather than the inward uh, woman. Like it's teaching women not to just be outwardly focused on how you look. So, but to be outwardly focused on what we're wearing? And doesn't it say more about your lack of propriety and faithfulness if a woman being dressed a certain way is enough to shake you from your faith? And not well, I told her, I, you're not shaking me by my faith. But I'm saying not everybody's saved here, so you're just. But wouldn't that do more on the man's part, where they don't? Well, he would be guilty too. So the woman and the man would be guilty. Why is it the get him out! Get him out! That he does not have the faith enough to remain unshaken. He will go to hell for that. What's your name? But the woman's also guilty for not covering herself the way that she should. So is your argument that you should be able to just walk around naked and and it's it's not it's not wrong? Say. Yes, holiness. We believe in covering. Even a man should cover his his body. We 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 wear t-shirts when we go swimming. We're the real deal. God is a holy remnant in the earth. Not everybody's a child of devil. Say again. When people No, I mean, look look up on the internet in the fifties. Everybody covered their body. Listen, when they would swim. Listen, listen. Men and women used to cover their bodies. It's only been in the last 30, 40 years. So, so you guys just want to be naked and live like rebels? Jesus was naked all the time. Yeah, you can do that, but there's a, there's a, there's a judgment. Yes. Yeah, you will go to hell for that. Am I going to be on YouTube? Because you rebel against God. Hello. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let me ask her. Hold on. You you already talked. Let other people answer ask questions. Hello. Um, I'd just like to tell you to have a good day. And I hope you gain a better perspective on the world. A kind of perspective on the world. Okay. There you go. If you don't want it, I'll take it. No, thank you. Yes, we want you to have, know Jesus. We want you to be delivered from, from that. That's why you're not saved. Catholics are going to hell. Oh my God! So you must be born again. The Bible, the Bible says homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says not to be pedophilic. Yes, he makes no mistakes, but you are rebelling against him. Hold on, hold on, one at a time. Are you married to a woman then? Yes. Yeah, That's holy matrimony. The oh. Bible says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. So, so I found a good thing and me and my wife serve God. We're blessed. We have we have peace. Say again? I thought you said Catholics are going to hell. That's Catholics are going to hell because they're not born again. No. 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 No, that's why it's a false religion. The Bible. You have to follow the Bible. Yeah. Born again Christians. Hold on, hold on. We're taking questions one at a time. So. Okay. Yes. Not just telling your sins. Let me show you this. This is a Bible verse. He who confesses and forsakes his sin will have mercy. Proverbs 18, 28, 13. So you can't just confess. You have to confess and forsake your sin in order to have mercy. So what does that mean? That means stop sinning. It's not, not just say, I'm sorry. You have to obey God's law. That's why we're teaching you the righteous law of God. 
I have an appointment. You said earlier. So, huh? Yeah, whenever you get time, the guy on the end has. Oh, you got a question? All right, all right, yeah. So, uh, Mark 329. Tell him your trip. It says, "Whoever blasphemes against the name of the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven, and they are guilty of eternal sin." So it's like misusing, you know, the verses, the Bible. Now, what that means is blasphemy means to speak evil of. Yeah. So to speak evil of the Holy Spirit, you'll never be forgiven in this life or the life to come. Yeah, but I'm saying if you misuse the Bible too, I would say it's also blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Wouldn't you agree with that? Well, no, because we see many examples in the Bible of people misusing the Scriptures and God still offered them forgiveness if they were willing to turn away from their false teachings and turn to Jesus Christ. So, go ahead. What is the Bible's uh, opinion on tomboys? Tomboys? Yes. Like women who dress like well, the Bible says that a man should not dress like a woman, and a woman should not dress like a man. I don't, I don't see a sin there, unless they're. So the Bible supports tomboys, is what you're telling me. I, it doesn't support it, but I can't. The Bible says, listen. The Bible says not to argue about di uh, doubtful disputations. So, some women are going to be um, athletic. There's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. Um, so I have a question for you said earlier. You said premarital sex is sin, correct? Premarital sex is called fornication. Okay, so it's right, right here. So let's say a woman was doing everything you said is good. She was dressed modestly, um, and she is raped. Is she going to go to hell because she had sex before marriage? No, no. The Bible talks about that. Okay. It, it says if a if a man uh, rapes a woman and the woman cries out for help, the woman listen. The woman is guilt is not guilty. The man is guilty of death. Okay. So that's why we put them in prison, and sometimes in some places they even uh, put put people to death. Okay, so. uh, what about marry your rapist laws? The Bible supports that. What is that? Marry your rapist laws. No, that that's not true. No. The Bible the Bible was talking about. Listen, no, it wasn't talking about rape. It was talking about fornication, having sex outside of marriage. But if it's rape, so, yeah. it's still That's sex still outside of marriage. Rape. It's just not consensual. Yeah, if they were to get caught having sex, then he then he would have to purchase. He, the Bible calls it in a. So you guys aren't listening. You'd have to get. Listen. It says that they that the man would have to give an endowment to the father. Back then, when you'd marry a woman, you'd have to give him a certain amount of money, and he would hold that money in case uh, you needed that money. In case the man died, the woman would be taken care of. They called that uh, an endowment. So that's how they used to do things. If if they were caught fornicating, then he would have to marry her and give the father an endowment. So that. Even if it was why can't the woman just get a job? Why she's got to leech off the husband? <laughs> You know, Do you believe that women should serve men? No. The Bible says that as the man is submitted to God, the woman should be submitted to the man. So yes. So yes. You yeah. literally just. So yes. In in. <laughs> so yes. In that way. Yeah. The Bible teaches that a godly woman, you know, but it's not worshiping a man. It's not. Uh, it's not like degrading her or. You know, my wife is happy. My ha my wife is happy to submit to me because I live for God. I'm submitted to God. Oh, so every woman has to. But, well, if you're married, if you're if you're married, don't you want a man that's going to lead you with strong but gentle hands? I I lead my man. Well, I mean, that's that's a good way to be cursed in your marriage. So a man was meant to lead. It depends on how he uses those strong. That doesn't matter. Okay, but so he's he's Bible says the the man is the head of woman as Christ is the head of the church. So so that's why America's that's why America that's why American marriages break up all the time. Cuz cuz listen the, the man's not leading. He's he's getting drunk, he's looking at porn. He's doing the wrong thing. So but yeah, when the man's in the driver's seat the way he's supposed to be, it's a beautiful thing. The the woman I just made the driver's seat of your life, not not necessarily. Oh, sorry, I didn't get the man around. Yeah. So yeah, but but obviously you would only want to do that with a godly man. You wouldn't want to follow some wicked devil, some guy looking at porn cheating on you, right? You should care, cause you're worth more than that. That was really sweet, damn it. Hey. What are you doing Oh yeah, so you're you're the, 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 the top. Say again. Driver. <laughs> Two men in a household. Who's the driver? 
driver. Oh, I love a flag. Who's the driver? Yeah. Who's the driver? Listen, Who's the driver? if two Who's dudes are doing being super gay and fucking each other asshole, but then they say no homo, he's just. Wait, no, wait, no, so wait, no, so no, who's like, who's so anyways, do you have a question? Anybody? No, I'm all right for now. All right. I've got one. So, so, I have a, a real question? Yes. Go ahead. So, I am a transgender man. I am transitioning from being assigned female at birth to being male. Okay. If I kiss Otto here, who is female, is that considered a sin that it is not homosexual by the man? Well, if you're born a woman, God sees you as a woman, and it is sin, yes. Okay. I kiss so. my woman. Woo! Yeah. I kiss yes. my so. woman. I say no homo, so there is no sin. Yeah, quit there is no homo. homo. No homo. <laughs> We're not, I'm not birthed. We're not birthed. So yes, your your DNA will never lie. If they if you die and they dig you up a hundred years, they'll be able to tell you was born a woman. Hi, I'm an anthropologist. I study archaeology. That is not true. We are terrible at identifying the genders of skeletons. So you're saying that uh, that the crime unit can't tell if it's a boy or, or girl by their bone structure, by their DNA? By their bone structure, Correct. a lot of the time, it is the, the variation, it is really like, if you're looking like bone structure, it is an absolute spectrum, you know? Like people are going, like your skeleton might be male-ish or female-ish, there are plenty of... But your DNA doesn't lie. Your DNA doesn't yeah, lie. You you're either DNA. XX or XY. Just the system. What about DNA the people who aren't bones? There is intersex people, and that's the combination that just the XX and XY. I mean, really, like, when you're the So look, if you, if you haven't gone all the way through with it, no, but they're if you haven't gone all the way through with it, I, I, I beg you for your own self to reconsider before it's too late. So does that mean the fact that I was born female and tried to reach myself on the planet and transitioning this way gives me a will to that I should just exist in a way that makes me want to erase myself and kill myself? No, you should love yourself by obeying God and have a blessing I on your life. I love myself no matter what. We have yeah, Eastern! Yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, how does it, why, does, why is it, why is it different between homosexuals and heterosexuals? Isn't that kind of the same thing? Well, you're bound by a spirit of lust, you'll go to hell. So, no, that's what I'm saying. It's not, ex so, it's not it, it is, it is a, a level up in, in wickedness for homosexuality. It's called an abomination in the Bible, so. So yes, it is a step up. You know how to read the Even, Bible in the original language? You don't have to, we got it perfectly in English. That is so. not a perfect translation. Like yes, it is, Senator. It's, it is like yes, it is, Senator. You hate God. That's why you blaspheme this word. I hate God, actually. I know. Because of people like And who God says, I'll punish, punish you to your face. I so. was in the church for 15 years. Did, it did nothing for you. Andrea, Go ahead. Do you like, can somebody who doesn't ask this public image when you're out here preaching like this? That is a great question. And this manner that you are. Do you feel like it's back? I'm really curious. Well, the Bible says to warn the wicked. Yeah, from Mark. It says, open, it says, open rebuke is better than secret love. So the Bible says, rebuke the wicked and a blessing will come upon you. You. So yes, w when we rebuke the wicked, we are loving people in the greatest way. Because in hell, they're going to wish that everybody warned them. So, 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 why, so why love in your manner of such a hatred way and like appearing as menacing to all these people? No one I've seen that comes around here. Enjoys the message. So, so who I, so why not, who have I been why hateful not, to? Why not love who have I been? Who, no, I said quit dressing like a whore. His message, of kindness and goodness. Go and, trying, and trying to convert people that way. Spread the message of Jesus. Well, the Bible says, the Bible says, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So, if you don't fear God, you'll never depart from evil. I fear God. I don't want to live my life in fear, though. Well, the Bible says this. Some save with compassion, making a difference. Others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. So, so the Bible says to re pre preach repentance in Luke 24, 47. It says, preach repentance in my name to all nations, starting at Jerusalem. So God commands us to preach repentance. Repentance of what? Repentance of breaking God's law. So, so why? In the hopes that they'll stop uh, making God angry and becoming an enemy of God. Hold on. The Bible says God, the Bible says this. That you be, listen, listen to the Bible. It says this. It says, uh, God hates all workers of iniquity. Oh wait, so wait, does God hate the sex outside of marriage? Yes. And he sends. So when God fucked Maiden Marion, who he wasn't married to. Did yeah. he sin against himself? Shame on you, devil. Years old. Shame on you. you. No God's going to burn you in eternal fire. Yes or no? He screwed Maiden Marion. And That's love to tell him that. So. Bible says, open but rebuke really is better than that secret love. Why didn't you answer the question? It doesn't have to be secret love. It can be open love. You can spread the good yeah. news and the message of gospel rather than, rather than trying to indoctrinate yeah. the hatred yeah. and well, well, aggressive well, is it hate? Yeah. If, if somebody's uh, about to murder, listen, listen. Let, let, me give you, let me give you an example. If, if somebody's about to murder somebody and I say, hey, stop, that's against the law. You'll go to prison for that. Is that hatred? Yes. That's hatred, according to the sinner. But according to somebody who has logic, they'll see that that's love once they think about it. But this might have worked in another time, but I feel like you have to adjust to the public image and how you're being perceived today. So if, you, if you want to spread your message, fantastic, you should, according to Mark. But you, I feel like you can't do it effectively the way that you are now. Well, well how, am I, how am I doing it hateful? By telling people the truth? You because see, yeah. you're, I don't you think you're realizing yourself? how you're being perceived by everyone around. I don't. The Bible says this, that uh, that we should not try to. He said, if I if I still pleased men, I would not be a bond servant of Christ. He said, and I quote, so listen. Burn in hell for eternity. God, yes. How is that not spreading hate? Well, because if it's true. It's not true. Yes, it is. That's why it's how it's is love. Okay? Tell me and most people are too cowardly to tell sir. people what God thinks. No, sir. I have the Bible says, I will punish the wicked to their face. How do you know no, what God sir. So God's going to punish evildoers. So. How is the Bible? Hold on, I'm talking to him. But we aren't God, so it's nowhere within our right to determine what is or isn't a sinner. That's not true. The Bible was given to us. The Bible. But it was given to us. We're called to love all people. What Jesus said to judge with righteous judgment according to the word. So we're giving you God's judgments on how he's going to judge you. We're giving you the cheat sheet to judgment day. That's what we're doing. We're, we're telling you how to prepare to meet God.
so that you'll be prepared for the test. There's a test coming up. The Bible says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We know the terror of God. We know that he's going to eternally destroy the wicked. God, you're a massive gay. So, that's his. That's yeah. his future. So, hey, if God does love everyone, it does. Kind of so yeah, if we lied to you, we would hate you. Just like all the false prophets, God said they'll have the hottest place in hell. The false prophets, the people that tell you it's okay, just love, just love them. But in the Bible, if you read through the Bible, you'll see that all the prophets in the Bible preach repentance, turning from their evil ways. And lining up with the Word of God, lining up with the Bible. As, as a Christian, are you not called to live as close as you can to what Jesus lived like? Yes. Indeed. So is Jesus out on the streets calling people out? Yes. And John 7:7, 7, 7, he said this. John 7:7, 7, 7, you can look it up in your Bible. It says the whole world. Go ahead and look it up real quick. He's gonna read it. He's looking it up. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and read it. Okay, no. Hold on, he's going to read a Bible verse. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify that it's worked to you. He, t he, he was hated by the world because he... What was the context of this? Where is he testifying? Well, he, he was testifying that he would go city to city and he was hated because he testified that their works were evil. So we're hated for the same thing. Because we're testifying... We're, 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 we're testifying... That your works are evil if you're not obeying God. So, and in, in Mark, in uh, Matthew 11, he went and upbraided cities, which means he strongly preached against them. He said, "Woe unto you, Chorazin! Woe unto you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you were done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they would have repented a long time ago." But he, but he said this. He said, "It'll be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for you cities." It also says so, in Romans 8.38 that's, what, that's that preaching straight from Jesus' mouth. So anyways, it's love. It's love because... And John, read, read, read the life of John the Baptist. He, he told Herod, he told Herod, he said, you cannot have your your uh, brother's wife that's unlawful so so he was telling them what the law of god said jesus said repent and believe the gospel every one of you so do you feel like what you're doing is working do you feel like you're getting people to well i can't force anybody to go to heaven we're here to give a message it's up to you to believe or or to reject so hey this one's had, had his hand up for a while can you Go on, go ahead. I, go ahead. Yeah, Romans 3 10. All, all for short of the glory of God. Every single person in this room, including you, all of us, none of us are perfect. We're all a sinner. That's why we need the grace of Jesus Christ. He's the only perfect person who ever cared a little bit life. We've all fallen short. Every single person. We have a list of all these things here. But there's so many smaller things we've all done. We've all seen it on the test. We've all done so many more things. There's smaller things. That's why you need to be a Christian. Why are we calling out specific things as if they're higher? On God's eyes. Because when you become a real Christian, you stop doing these things and you obey Jesus Christ. The Bible says all have sinned, past tense, and have fallen short of the glory of God. But now God commands all men everywhere to repent. So that's what we're preaching. You have to repent. No, he gives you power to save you. He forgives you. Well, listen, he gives you power by his grace. And mercy, he, he, listen, he rejuvenates you by the Holy Spirit and changes you. It's called being born again. The Bible says if you, if you abide in him, if you abide in him, you will not sin. Why? Because he's not the minister of sin. So you have to abide in Jesus, which means you got to get serious about God. You got to acknowledge him in all your ways, and he'll direct your steps. You can't you can't be lukewarm. If you're lukewarm, he'll spew you out of his mouth. No. So. Well, the Bible says if we willfully sin, there's no more sacrifice for sins. So yes, I'm not willfully sinning. If I sin, it's not it's not on purpose. I have to turn from it. Yes. But true Christians will not will not be sinning on purpose. You, you won't be looking at porn anymore when you become a real Christian. Yeah. The Bible says no fornicator will inherit the kingdom of God. So 
if if you're looking at porn, you're not a real Christian. You're you're a backslidden Christian at the best. So. That's not legalism. That's the law of God. The Bible says, don't be deceived. It says, l l let me give you a Bible verse. Let me give you a Bible verse. It says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards will inherit the kingdom of God. But such were some of you. But you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So, Jesus washed washes us and cleanses us from all our sin, from all filthiness. That's not true. Not if you're not if you're the real deal. You'll follow God. I'm the real deal. You'll love God. You would rather die than sin against God when you really understand the Bible for real. I'd actually rather die than argue against you right now because you're just not very open-minded. So. You so Jesus it's not a very intelligent so conversation with us. Loving a ministry for the people that the Bible calls whores, tax collectors. Yes. I'm not screaming at you. I'm giving you love. Well, I was preaching. That's called. Well, listen. Listen. Well, if you're a whore, I, I said you dress like a whore. If you're a, if, 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 God changes you when you get saved. God changed Mary. God changed all these people so that they stopped sinning. They became so. Also, you call the pastor a true Christian. Say again. No, not most of the time nowadays. They're they're uh, the Bible says that they're that they're false shepherds. They're false apostles. The Bible says they're hirelings. So yes, most most pastors today are going to the same lake of fire. So I'm specifically talking about pastor who admitted that he had adultery. Yeah, he's not a real Christian. That's what I was trying to tell him. If you're having adultery, you're not a real Christian. Well, you can you can repent. Well, the Bible says. The Bible says, "Judge with righteous judgment." In John seven twenty four, the only time. Listen. The only time he says not the judge is when he's talking about hypocritical judgment. He says, first remove the plank out of your own eye, and then you'll see clearly to remove the speck out of your brother's eye." But what sir, you're not the judge you the executioner. God is. He gave it he gave us the judgment right here. Holy Bible. This is what we're telling you. We're telling you Bible scriptures. We're not telling you our opinion. We're we're telling you. I said she's dressing like a whore. It, yes, I'm allowed to judge. I believe you should judge according to God's word. So you judge a boy They call me a whore. If you're a whore, then you're a whore. But I said you're dressing like a whore. I mean, what do you think? Wait, wait, wait. So, girl, what do you, what do you mean? I say you're dressing like a whore. What do you mean? You're looking at me like a pedophile. I'm not looking at you at all. I feel sorry for you. What about it? I feel sorry for you. So done. Hold on, one at a time. Well, the Bible says a godly woman will dress modestly. So, so. So if you're showing all the curves of your body, you're not a woman of God. You're a woman of the world. So you're a woman of the world. So that's what we're here to say. Hey, if you don't, if you don't want to hear what the Bible says, then move on. We're here to tell you that holy, holy people make it to heaven. It says, listen. It says, without holiness, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. That's Hebrews 12:14. Holiness is God's standard for living. He gives you the Holy Spirit so that you can walk above lust. You, you can have power over lust. That's right. When you have a temptation, you overcome that temptation. The Bible says, submit to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. It says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It says, cleanse your hands, you sinners. 
Purify your hearts, you double-minded. How do you purify your heart? The Bible says you, you purify yourself in obeying the truth through the Spirit. So if you start cry out to God for mercy, He will forgive you. We're here to tell you the good news that you don't have to go to hell with the homosexuals. You don't have to go to hell with the sexually immoral. That's your choice. But we're here to say, we know hell's real. We were to the... I used to party at this campus. I wasn't always a, a born again Christian. Yeah. Yeah, I pray I praise God that I went to jail and, and God encountered me in jail. So I praise God that God encountered me in jail and and He corrected me. He chastened me. He showed me. Listen. God showed me I was a fake Christian. He showed me I was a child of the devil. I thought I was going to heaven. I went to church all the time. But I was sleeping with girls outside of marriage. I was looking at porn. I was I was I was doing drugs. And I, I was a drug dealer. That was my life. And God told me, once saved, always saved, that ain't going to get you there. I was believing in once saved, always saved. That ain't going to get you there. Jesus said, "He." it says, he that endures to the end shall be saved. So I stopped selling drugs. And now God gave me my own business. Wait, wait, wait. So what drugs Praise the Lord. So then I got any real questions? Yeah, that's a good question. I had a question for a while, sir. Like, what does the Bible say about divorce? What does it say about divorce? Yeah. It says if you do things his way, you won't get divorced. Okay, but so if my dad is cheating and abusing my mom and she divorces him, is that like a... On her? Like she's oh. going to hell? Or no, I, I believe that there in the Bible it talks about if the unbelieving spouse leaves the believer, then there's no sin. But Bible says. So I believe there are there is exceptions, but I would I would uh, there are is exceptions in the Bible. Oh, okay. Okay. It says that so you have to pray about that and talk to a real pastor about that. So do you want to say anything about that? I believe abuse is a legitimate, but but you should try to work it out through counseling and stuff. But I believe if if, if they won't stop abusing, then I believe it's a good reason to divorce personally. Because God don't expect you to be a punching bag. God God cares for you. God cares for you. You're just using me as a punch. Yeah, no, I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to everybody here. So. You keep turning around on you, but I'm talking to everybody. God. His disciples. Yes. We're discipling. We believe in that. So, but but sinners have to repent. The Bible says preach repentance to sinners. But Jesus loved them. He gave them love. Yes, we're loving you by telling you the way of salvation. So if you don't repent, you're a child of God. You're a child of wrath, the Bible says. You're you're an enemy of God if you're living in sin. So first you have to become a Christian, and then it says wash the saints' feet. It doesn't say wash sinners' feet. Wash the saints' feet. So but but we're washing you, we're we're washing you with the word of God. So does that mean that you believe that due to me being transgender, queer, is gaining a disability in the last year that I've been expressing that my punishment? No, I don't believe that. Okay. But he nodded. It could be. I believe it could be. It could be, but I'm not saying for sure. Yeah. Wait. So God already said, fuck you. Well, well, I mean, God, God doesn't use that language. Yeah, the, Bible says, the Bible says, do not be deceived. It says, whatever a man sows, that also he shall what reap. If you sow to the flesh, listen to what he's saying. If you sow to the flesh, of the flesh, flesh shall reap corruption oh, yeah. or destruction. But if you sow to the spirit, you'll reap yeah. eternal life or everlasting life. So it could be God sometimes sends sickness and uh, or, or lets us by our own choices, uh, you know, have bad those consequences. Uh, for example, to wake us up. For, to wake us up. For example, when I was rolling on uh, six pills of ecstasy one night, right? before I was righteous, before I was holy. Before I was holy.
when I was a student after when I was a student when I was a student at this campus 20 years ago yeah I was a drug addict yeah I was 20 years ago I was a, I was doing drugs so I was um, so my point is kids, this is no oh like like like, like all you guys have never done drugs before I swear to God, I've my never point done. is there are consequences for the way you live your life. Yeah, there are. And if you're, you're taking drugs, uh, nope. if you're taking, if I said if, if you're taking drugs, you might, uh, you might end up wrecking your motorcycle or wrecking your car uh, in a bad accident and might end up being disabled. If, uh, you know, if you're having, uh, <laughs> if you are uh, having butt sex, butt sex, monkey pox. All right. You might get monkeypox. Or, or AIDS. Oh, yeah. or AIDS. That is definitely medical. Because we, we know it's a gay disease. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a gay disease. Oh, yeah. If you were having, uh, oh, yeah. if you were having oh, yeah. oral sex, if you're having oral sex, you might end up getting uh, maybe throat cancer. Do you know what about oral sex? I mean, yeah, you're right. You know? that, that's actually true. But uh, you know, if, you were, you know, if, if you're committing sodomy, there are consequences to your actions. You, you might end up uh, being in a are diaper. You, you might you end up being in a diaper. Right. As an adult male or woman, that's not good. You see some yeah, of these, yeah. Wait, some of these porn Wait. addicts, some of these people that are uh, making are pornography, where, hey, where they're wearing honey is? diapers I just watch it later. because of all the sodomy. It's wicked. <laughs> so so the, 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 the point is there are consequences. So you, you may end up in a wheelchair. Uh, because of, of, of your uh, unrighteous living, so instead, and God's trying to work about you.